Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen in Grand Colony in Nigeria. I remain your own elder statesperson, Reverend Dr. Bartolomeo Agbocheno, coming your way the second time today on Body David. And uh, I promise the Grant community that this is the last time I will respond to Body David. And all of you, you know the reason. The reason is that Body David is not making sense. It's not making sense. Me, I was thinking, as he said, he's coming for me, and that he is going to come with uh, togs to come and kidnap me. Maybe he kidnaps people to come and kidnap me, to assassinate me. I think that is what uh, he wanted to do. And I wanted the law to be aware. But he had changed his mind. He said he wants to quarrel with me. He wants to enter into a war of words with me. Ladies and gentlemen, let me ask you this question. If I enter into war of wars with Bode David, will you call me a normal person? If he insults me and I insult him back, will you call me a normal person? You will not call me a normal person. For that reason, this is going to be my last VN in response to what he has said. He has mentioned uh, some of some things which I know you already you know the facts but I want to reiterate on them. Although if I say it, uh, somebody like Bolde David and his class of people, they will not understand because of the level of their brain. Whether they understand it or they don't understand it, I must mention it. And when I mention it, I will put full stop. Since Bode David is not coming to kidnap me anymore, he's not coming with talks, since he says he's coming for me, since not doing that now, but it is war or words. I don't have time for war or words, for war or words with Bode David because he is not my mate. If I get into war or words with Bode David, what will I say that people will praise me? So I will not do that. And as a result of that, this is the last response I will give to Body David. Uh, since it is no longer him taking me to court, since he is no longer him gathering kidnappers to come and kidnap me, since he says he's coming to me, if it, it is for where or worse, let Body David continue to insult me. I will not answer him. We are in an African setting. When you insult an elderly person, a younger person will definitely insult you for sure. That is the law of karma. But then, David, when you were talking, instead of making points, you were hallucinating on what to say. And in hallucinating on what to say, you became staggered. You became shattered, battered, and scattered. And in what to say, let me just recap on what you are saying, and I will respond to them. Lawyers, they say, on points of law. Lawyers, I would like you people to permit me. I'm not a lawyer. But I will respond to uh, Bode David on points of law. I don't know what you mean by points of law, but in my own local application, I will match him word for word and I will leave it. In the first, in the first uh, line, Bode David, you say, if I get response, I will drop part two. The one I'm doing is part one. If I get response, I'll I'll drop part two. If I get response, I'll get I'll drop part three, part four, part five, part six until August. When you will now go for your fasting and confess your sins to God. Yes, you say it is going to be battle or worse. That was what you said. 
I've already spoken on battle of words. I will not get into battle of words with Buddy David. After this voice note, anything Buddy David says is no longer my business. People who want to believe him can believe him. I know people that will believe him are people that are on in the same brain level with him. And you now say, after you have engaged me in ways of wars and insulted me the August, you will go for your prayer. And if you that you want to manifest the flesh first before you go for your prayer. These were the things you said in your V note. And for sure, people that are educated, they know where they have already placed you. When you say you want to manifest the flesh, first, somebody who says he is born again. You say you want to manifest the flesh first and commit sin first, so that when you go for uh, fasting, you will confess your sins for God to forgive you. But there, David, let me refer you to the Bible. In Hebrews, chapter 6 from verses 4 to 6 i lift it directly from for, from the scripture say for it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the holy ghost and have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the word of God. If they shall fall away to renew them again unto repentance, seeing they crucify to themselves the Son of God afresh and put him to an open shame. But then, David, I was not the one who wrote this in the Bible. Though. It is there. People who commit sin willfully, people who know sin and they go and commit it, when you go and commit it, you have blocked your heaven gate. You will never go to heaven again. And maybe that is how you are. You are telling people that you are born again. Maybe this is what you have been doing, not knowing that you are already a cast out. And that is why you are saying, that is why you are saying what you are saying. People are measuring what you are saying. It is not the, the standard of the Bible for somebody to willfully commit sin. He sin, sin. If you commit sin without knowing, it's a different thing. But for you to know sin, you say, this is sin. You say, I am going to commit it. In something you know, it is a sin. But you have determined to commit the sin, to manifest the flesh, to commit the sin. Then, in August, you go and commit your sin. And you think God is a robot. God is a robot. When you do that, after you have been born again, if you have ever been born again at all, but David, if you have ever been born again, let's assume you have ever been born again, and you willfully go and commit sin, you see sin, you go and commit it, your heaven is locked. And as you are there, but David, you are not a child of God anymore. Your heaven is locked up. Because as you are there, probably you must have been committing adultery. Yes, if you could willfully insult an elder, you can equally commit an elder. You can equally steal. You can equally steal and make up your mind and say, okay, let me just steal here yet. It is not what you say from your mouth to that stands to your actions, your activities. So, David, body David, I'm afraid of you. You claim to be a part of the body of Christ, but you are not practicing the Bible. Your own Bible that you are practicing is that you can willfully commit sin, then go and repent later. 
But the Bible has told us that those who were once enlightened, it is impossible, not that it is difficult. The Bible didn't say it's difficult. It said it is impossible. What is impossible is impossible. It's impossible to still bring them to repentance. But the David, as you are there, your heaven is already blocked. Because probably this is what you have been doing. Uh, you might have been committing sin from um, January down to August. And at August, you go for your prayer. And you will claim that at that August, all the sins you have committed will be washed away. You are deceiving yourself. It does not stand. By that thing that you said, you have brought yourself to the open world that you are not a practicing Christian. You are just a religious Christian. You are a religious Christian. You are a ceremonial Christian. Because the Christianity that the Lord Jesus Christ brought to us is to be born again once and stay with the Lord. Whether fire, whether rain, we stay with the Lord. If we know that this is a sin, we will not touch it. But you, David, but David, as far as you are concerned with your congregation, maybe that is what you teach them. You are the one who is bringing problem to the, to Christendom in Nigeria. You contribute to the adulteration of the Christian faith in Nigeria. So this is what eh, you have brought yourself to let people know. As you are even there, you can even kill. If there is an opportunity to, for you, you can even kill. Then go for your fasting to go and confess your sins. That is what you have said. You used your mouth to say it to body David. No be me, he say I'm oh. Now you use your mouth to say, it's okay, this is the time for manifestation of the flesh. And I want to say that you are not learning it. This is what you have been doing. We get to know it now because it concerns us. The ones that do not concern us may be many elsewhere there that we don't know. But the David, you have brought yourself to the open. You have brought yourself to the open. That is what you have uh, said. Point number two. There was something you said erroneously. If I don't clear it, some people may be tempted to believe you because words are powerful, whether they are good or bad. When good words come, they are powerful. So also when bad words come and there is no other way to counter it, it is also powerful. It can go ahead to destroy people to destroy people. You said you wanted uh, that uh, I wanted the uh, Tubat to transfer leadership of Tuba. Do you feel us to transfer leadership of Tuba to me on the flag of day? But they did it. Go and listen to my VN. Go and listen to my VN. I was the one who used my mouth to say that Theophilus told me that he will hand it over to me when I was visiting him in the cell in ESCC. It was in ESCC cell when it was remaining one week. By this time, Theo had spent two weeks in detention. And because of the way I was behaving, because you people were not close now, when uh, EFCC officers were coming, you were running. I was the only one who was bold. And actually, that was why EFCC arrested me. EFCC did not arrest me because of my own sin. They arrested me because of the sin of Kyo. And the reason they has arrested me is that uh, I was supporting Kyo. But then, David, there's nobody in the grant community that you can confuse on that. 
there's no body. And if they will arrest me, did anybody write any petition against me? Uh, uh, the EFCC, would they just see people and begin to arrest them? No. The petition was written against you. It was not against me. So how will I be arrested? Me being in EFCC, everybody knows, even you, yourself that you are there, you know that it was because of you. <laughs> the only thing is that uh, you people that are with you, lying has become part of your life. So anything you say, you must lie. But this lie, you wouldn't have told it because even the members of your group, they know that you are lying. That the elder statesman being in ESCC is not because he did anything wrong. My organization is as neat as possible. Anything you like, you see about it. I am on with it. I am on with it. Uh, I had been in, uh, I was in ESCC because of you, you yourself, you know. Uh, it's only because uh, lie telling is not a sin um, uh, for you people that are with you, or even if it is, it is a sin, you believe that you can commit that sin now so that you will go and confess it when you are going for your fasting in August. That fasting in August is a ceremonial fasting. It doesn't have power because you are already marked for hell. Your heaven has been closed. Do you know why? You have committed sin willfully after you have once been enlightened. And the Bible said your repentance is impossible. That is that one. Point number four. Point number four. You were saying I should sue you. Did I tell you that I was going to sue you? Me, I told you that I don't have your time. And even if I have your time, I won't see you. Do you know why? You are not my mate. If I see you and I bring you down, who will praise me? I had said that earlier. And you will say you were 100% born again. Yes. There's nobody who will say he is 100% a child of hell. There's nobody who will say he is 100% a devil. Nobody will say that now. But the prints all over you, with what you have even said, not even what are inside of you. Because I want to believe that out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth is speaking. What is contained in your heart is what you have spoken now. And what is that thing? You say you want to manifest the flesh, yet then you will confess later. And the Bible tells me, that anybody who purposely manifests the flesh, anybody who purposely commits sin after he has been enlightened, that person has crucified the Son of God to himself, not to the cross again. People can crucify the Lord Jesus Christ to him, to themselves. But then, David, you have crucified the Lord Jesus Christ to yourself and brought him to an open shame. How? For sinning willfully. For seeing sin. And you say you want to go and commit it. Then you confess your sin later. Body David, you have to be instructed. You have to be instructed. And uh, you again say that I was thrown out of Tuba. But David, you are saying all these things because you are frustrated. I have never been in Tubat. I have never been a staff of Tubat. I have been saying this time without number. I am a subscriber. The work I went there to do was voluntary. I have been mentioning this time without number. My resources are in Tubat. I am not a staff of Tuba. How will Tuba throw me out? How? Just tell me. Or to tell me that the money that I spent there is worth. Well, don't worry. The time will come now. The time will come. How will I get out of Tuba? Those who are in UAG now, how will they get out of Tuba? Even this Taz Dawood and uh, Ab Abdul Razak, how will they get out of Tuba? Their money is there. Theophilus must vomit that money out. He must vomit them out. 
So I don't know what you mean by in Tiuba. When I have my own organization, I will go to Tiuba to be his secretary or what? You said you told Tiuba to meet me, spokesman, after I have spoken for two years. According to you, when you said you told Tiobat to make me spokesperson, I had done the spokesmanship for two years. I had done. So whether you pronounced it or you did not pronounce it, it did not matter. What brought me into that level was that Tiobat was not communicating with the people. This thing that I'm saying, everybody knows. He was not communicating with the people. And because of the huge investment I have in Tioba, then I drew close to Tioba to know. And as I was getting information, I was disseminating it to people. If Tioba made me an official spokesperson, his love for him, whether he made me or he did not make me, I was doing the job. And I was helping people. I was helping people. People were getting information. I was helping people. So if he made me a spokesman with a salary attached, what was salary attached? But hey David, I'm asking you, what was the salary that was attached? And what was the conditions of service? Where is the letter of appointment? But hey David, go and meet people of the brain of your class. The thing you are saying, even people that are in your organization, they know really that you are talking trash. You are talking trash. You again say that um, I lost my case in FCID because you refused to support me. Hey, but David, this one you said, will people believe you? Will people believe you? And you went ahead and said that Tio Bart did not care for me because uh, people were telling him that I am destroying him. Ah, Body David, if you want to lie, tell a black lie. I know you are in the lying category, but tell the black one. Don't tell the white one that people don't need to investigate before they know. If you say that my being in Tioba was detrimental to Tioba, you are telling a white lie. Even a seven-year-old boy would, wouldn't need to ask anybody before they know that you are lying. Because I defended Tioba. I defended him. You yourself, that you say I was causing problem in Tioba. You know that my time in Tioba was defense for Tioba. You know that very well. So I won't talk any much on that. I wouldn't talk any much on that. He said, I'm a man, a man of God causing troubles. Yes, I cause troubles. So I cause troubles for sure. That one that you said you have you have spoken the truth, I cause trouble. But how did I cause trouble? Because of Tio Bato. Because of Tio Bato, I was engaging Tioba's enemies. And as a matter of fact, when my eyes became clear, I had apologized to them. And all of them have reconciled with me. All the people that I engaged in war. Ogbemudia is my friend now. Ustaz Dawood is my friend now. Blessing is my friend now. Jennifer Isaac is my friend now. So what is there? What are you talking about? The problem I had with them was Tioba. And as I'm no longer in Tioba, we are here and hurting. And you that you are there, you don't know there's so many problems that you are having. You have problems with human beings. And you also have problems with God. Your heaven is locked. Do you know why? You come in and uh, uh, you repent, you commit, you repent, you commit, you repent. That is what you teach the people in your church. And I know because what you practice is what you teach. You believe in committing sin and repenting. You are gathering people to hell. But David, you are in trouble. 
you are in trouble. God is not happy with you. You said I said there is no grant in Nigeria, and I am I'm, 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 uh, I am uh, sponsoring my own grant. But David, when did I say there is no grant in Nigeria? When did I say that there is no grant in Nigeria? I have never said that there is no grant in Nigeria. All what I have said is that Tio is a shambo. Tio doesn't have grant. Tio doesn't have grant. That is what I have said. But no grant in Nigeria. If there is any V note I released saying there is no grant in Nigeria, please put it on the public space. Just like I put your own V note on the public place to disgrace you. Put it on the public place and uh, disgrace me. You were again talking about uh, the monies that you people contributed to release it to you. And that I spent about 70% of it on my own. Let me tell you, when Tio was in detention, you know that the load was more heavily on me. You know that. You know that. And on the spot, you know when something gets to EFCC and you are not used to EFCC, you will be trying helter skelter to know how. So in my trial, on the spot, I spent three million into the hands of somebody who could not do the job. I had spent three million. Yes, but then David, you yourself, you know that what I'm saying, I'm saying the truth. <laughs> because I don't lie like yourself. I wouldn't lie to go and repent later, no. Reverend Dr. Bartolomeo Abocheno will never do that. The only person that I know that can do that is Bode David. He can lie. So that uh, he feels that if he lies and he goes back to God again, God will forgive him. That is the kind of person you are. You have brought yourself out open to the people. I had spent three million. And that three million that I spent, it was on a promise that that same day, on the 24th of June, 2023, that you will come out of there. It didn't work. And I said, it didn't work. Uh, there was another link brought by James Brown. James Brown. James Brown, I will look for his phone number. Uh, no, James Brown is listening to what I'm saying. And maybe he is even still with you, but James Brown brought somebody called Abu Bakar Ahmed. That Abu Bakar Ahmed will be able to tell him to go. So he put a phone call. Me and Abu Bakar Ahmed, we talk. And as we talk, he said that we should bring five million. We said that we are worn out. We are worn out. He said, okay, we should make some deposit. That was why I brought it before you people. And as I brought it before you people, uh, Reverend Oka brought one million. You brought 600,000. You, Body David. Other people contributed and it amounted to 1 million seven hundred and fifty thousand. One million seven hundred and fifty thousand. Out of that one million seven hundred and fifty thousand, we gave one million five hundred thousand to Abakar Ahmed via James Brown. James Brown is listening to what I'm saying. Remaining 250,000. This 250,000, I used it to go and buy food for my family. I used it to go and buy food for my family. Because it was everything I had that I put in, and it did not work. Because if I'm fighting for two, my people must not go hungry. My kitchen was dry. That was what I used the 250,000 Naira for. Are you trying to tell me that I shouldn't have used that 250,000 Naira for that? And you are saying I used 70% of the uh, 
one million seven hundred and fifty thousand. But then, David, I don't have your time. You say I should go to court. If I go to court, will you remain? Will you remain? And if you want me to take you to court, I'll preserve this view that when I am true, I'll definitely take you to court if you want to go to court. For you to come and prove to me that out of that 1,750,000, are you 70% of that money? You will come and show it in court. But not now. Not now. And after this V note, any rubbish that you vomit out, the other set man will never, never answer you anymore. The only answer I will give to you is that probably if you will take me to court, eh, or if you call police for me, eh, if not, from your quarrel that you have determined to do, Reverend Dr. Bartolomeo Agbocheno will never answer you a word. You say I spent 70% of that money. Yes, you will say it because that is your way of life. You can commit sin. Then later you go and confess. If not, I, you yourself, you know that that was a sin you have committed. You have told a lie. Because lying is not a new thing for you people that are with you. You told me that Epic threw me out. Yes, you are correct. And I'm happy because Epic threw me out. If I want to board an aeroplane and I know that that aeroplane is going to crash, and they threw me out at the airport. I will be very happy. For information, Epic has crashed. And the Centurita, Centurita, there's nothing in Centurita. So if they threw me out, I'll be very happy. I'll be, I am happy because they threw me out. You have not lied there. Epic threw me out. And uh, Jehoshaphat have threw me out. And I am very happy because they threw me out. As they threw me out, have they performed? They have not performed, and they will never perform. So how won't I be happy? I am supposed to be happy. For information, but then David, if you respond to this v note, you will never see my response anymore. Because as many people as have listened to this VN, if they are not convinced, even if I talk until tomorrow, they will never be convinced. So there is no point me coming to be talking with you, a child that I could bet, who is irresponsible, who does not know the, 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 the respect for another, who is determined to insult his father. So how can I engage such a person in talk? I will never, never answer you a word. And again, because you, you don't have any work to do. Me, I have work I am doing. I will not waste time and begin to answer you. So all these ones that I've said, people that their brains are correct and will believe and stop here, let them, if not, all the lies that you have prepared to tell onward, hey, continue to tell them, continue to tell them, even something that is not in the syllabus, bring them out. Well, if they believe you, that's not my business. Good afternoon.